Hello, welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem. Onward to Chapter 7X, The Black Shadow. A mysterious group seems hell-bent on capturing Nils and Ninian. Having failed, this group, the Black Fang, flees. Rumor has them traveling southwest. Lin and her colleagues follow in hopes of recovering a lost heirloom. The Black Hat Fang have made a stronghold of an abandoned castle in Catholic. Its dark halls are alive with shadowy figures. Chapter 7X The Black Shadow We're now on the preparation screen. We're going to get out. Hmm, we'll get out wrath to put nails, and that's probably it. I'm going to get everyone else to join. So check out what's that. So go to map. Check map. Seven formation. I'm gonna get Urk to go on the top uh, upper position because of that soldier. That and there's a mage there, so he has good resistance being a mage. So he won't get as much damage as compared to if he was going to the other wall, which has an archer, which will deal him more damage than the mage will. Anyway, uh, gonna see if I can kill him. But then that, that archer will get in the way and could probably put Florina in good amounts of trouble. And could actually kill her if he actually hit. So what I'm gonna do move Will up and then use Nils to use dance on him. Good. Go to attack that bandit, and then finish off Matthew. Anyway, it's been quite some time to continue this let's play. I've been doing a bit of reviews, such as my Gravity Rush review and my other reviews. 
but I think I should get back to doing this let's play since I really enjoyed playing Fire Emblem. Okay, I'm going to get for me to the wait there so the soldier will attack. That will also enable her to not get attacked by the archer. Also then able to defeat the soldier since he doesn't have a ranged weapon. Yay for soldiers not having javelins. Well not yet anyway. Okay, just gonna move several people up as well. I'm gonna move up there so she won't get uh, range attack. Move them to the corners of the wall that the mage has so they won't be able to attack them. Door kids with hand axe. Okay, let's see. No. Oh well. Destroy him, Florina! Anyway, this stage is. A, hmm, it's not hard. It's pretty uh, easy, in my honest opinion. Though you do have to be careful with the uh, corridors, since they do have ranged attackers in there. Such as. Uh, both of them double teaming on Matthew right now, which is a kind of oversight on my behalf since I really didn't thought of them attacking Matthew. But Matthew is okay, ish. So let's see. The trade with Bono Florina then use on Matthew so he can heal. You get her to attack. Hmm. Dorcas? No, just one. Not enough. Must be enough to do a double attack. Okay, time for her to destroy that mage. There can only be one mage in this area, and that's going to be Urk, not you, Black Fan. I'm going to heal Urk. I know. Yeah. If you irk a bit. Sounds well. Training Sarah is pain, as I said before. I know it's a broken record, but it's the truth. Okay, attack will. It is that will again. They got to finish off the archer. No! I accidentally press attack wall. I don't know why. I keep accidentally doing that. I was supposed to attack the. Um. Oh. It's, uh, Archer. Eh, I might as well just hit him with Kent. Finish him with Dorcas with hand axe. Move Lin up and probably wait around that area with Florina. Hmm, huh, now I'm just gonna hit the nails. So I'm gonna rescue Nils with Florina. Oh boy, that feels getting pretty close. Reinforcements through that stairs. Okay, let's finish with the Black Fang guy off this time. No more Butterfingers this time. Mm. I'm going to heal Matthew. Since he took a beating from the archer earlier a bit. Always heal. Especially... Always heal your units, seriously. You'll feel really stupid if you die 
from a character critical. I mean, you can calculate all that, but if they somehow get a critical to you, and if your character could have survived if they had that one HP, that would really make you feel a bit bad when you're playing the game. It happened to me a good amount of times. So I have the tendency to heal every... well, not every character. I heal people as best as I can. Though I sometimes... Um, forget things when I'm playing the game. So I can I make some novice mistakes like that. Okay, let's move Kent up here. You attack Lin. I'm gonna move my mages up a bit. Hmm. I thought that pillar would give me more of a boost. Wait, I'm not in a pillar, I'm at a treasure chest. Does the treasure chest give us that boost? Hmm, not sure. Oh! They attacked me with a uh, mercenary. That was gonna attack me with a. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to finish him with... Yeah. That will work. I guess we need to finish that guy off. Think. No, go finish him. No. Yeah, finish him with Matthew since he needs to level. Six enemies left. Uh, there's the boss and two mages. There were three guys in the upper right corner. I'm gonna move Will up a bit for that. He's able to dance him so we can move further up. Anyway, I'm gonna try getting on my let's play and try to finish. At least Lin's arc soon. Really soon. I want to try to do that. Okay, rescue now, go up here. Then use Florina to do the rescue drop thing. So he, he can, he's upper. He's a bit higher up now. So we don't have to waste another turn moving him. Let's see. Move Dorcas up. The likelihood of getting any action is pretty slim. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use Urk to weaken him, then Lin to uh, finish off the mercenary. And I'm going to position. Uh, I'm going to position him to guard Urk, so he won't get attacked by that bandit or that mercenary. Hmm. What? A critical? Ugh. So sad. Enemies being able to critical me now. Oh well. Good thing it was a uh, can't. A cavalier with high defense, so his max out max output was six damage. Okay, let's finish with Lin. Yay for critical! This map is critical. Critical, critical, critical. And as always, I love Lin's uh, critical animations, especially when she classes up, especially with the Sokati. Looks absolutely amazing in my honest opinion. Well, in terms of 2D sprites animations. Okay, can't level it up. Hmm, level up skill and HP. Now the mages move up a bit. Hmm. Let's get Florina to try. No, no double damage. And there's the shaman. I can probably do a double on. Let's get Will to attack. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, let's get Will to attack first to weaken him. Hmm. 
feeling good. Matthew to finish him off. Just heal Matthew a bit first, since I don't want any mistakes. Anyway, this map uh, pretty normal. You just have to be careful of the tight quarters since they have ranged attackers. Uh, both at the both at the left side of the main map and the middle, because that can really throw people off a bit. But overall, not a hard map by any means. I put it around normal. Well, normal by Lin standards. Pretty easy by in Hector or Elwood's arc. Ooh, Lin, I mean Florina, you dodged with a 49% chance of hitting. Um, 49% of dodging. Okay, one more character left, which is the boss. Oh wait, I was supposed to use dance on Sarah. I was supposed to heal well. Butterfingers, you are my greatest enemy. Yeah, you move Darkness up, even though there's really no point, since it's more than likely he won't see any action uh, here. Especially since the boss is a mercenary with a sword, so the likelihood of Dorcas actually hitting something is pretty slim to none. Okay, let's attack with an Iron Lance. You have already failed, man. All your lackeys are gone. Okay, 99 experience points. The same just need one more experience point to level up. Attack with Will. Let's see, Will, what kind of level up you get. Oh, pretty decent. Strength, skill, and luck, I think. Couldn't get read the last part. Okay. It's there to heal. We'll get news to dance for her first and she needs to move up again to heal Will. Yes, I'm gonna put him work I'm gonna put her right next to the boss. Because I plan on defeating him before my turn's over. In fact I'm prob I'm really planning on ending this ending this chapter on this turn with Flor no wait. With uh, Matthew, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to finish off with Matthew since he needs the levels. Hey, Iron Sword. Iron Sword, you! You have fallen to the grace of Matthew, the coolest thief in this game. Okay, I'm lying. He's not the coolest thief. But he's still pretty good boss by his himself. Anyway, that's all for this chapter, folks. Pretty uh, fun chapter. Overall, not nothing too difficult. Pretty easy overall compared to the rest of the game. And it's a guiding chapter which you can either skip or do. In my personal experience, I would do them for more experience points. But that's all. 
See you next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem.